Well, hello everybody, here is Archivon again, um, and yeah, let's continue the story of Battlefield 1, uh, we're just heading to chapter 2, so let's go and continue this awesome adventure so far. Before I got to Europe, I had never seen an aeroplane in real life. High above, they twisted and turned like flocks of birds dancing. There was a romance surrounding pilots these new swashbucklers of the skies. But the reality was, most of these brave young men would eventually end up back on the ground in twisted smoking wrecks. Well, I assume that I'll have to drive um, some of the airplanes. I'm not good at all driving airplanes. I mean, in video gaming, in real life, I never tried it. I don't pretend to um, do so as well in the future. So, but yeah, let, let's see. Let's see what's happening. Well, the truth is that I already drove a pigeon, so how hard it could be to drive, um, you know, an airplane. I have nothing left to bet, you idiot. The plane. <laughs> That's rich. Uh -huh. Oh, why the hell not? I've got you beaten anyway. Oh, uh, yeah. What have you got? Hmm? Wipe your mouth, Blackburn. That wasn't supposed to happen. But you know, I'll be taking that plane anyway. What the bloody hell? You lost, I beat you. Mm. The thing is, Rackham, it's a very beautiful aeroplane and you're kind of a jackass. I beat you fair and square, goddammit. Stay the hell away from my kind. Oh, you bastard. You can't do this to me, I beat you. I beat you. My name's Clyde Blackburn. I'm a pilot and a gambler. I'm George Rackham! I'm George Bloody Rackham! Listen to me! You bastard! Keep off my aeroplane! If you asked me to name my biggest fault, I'd have to tell you. I'm just not a very honest person. Welcome aboard! I'm Wilson, by the way. You must be George Rackham! Sure, I'm Rackham. I'm your guy. Come on. Let's get this kite up in the air. You're George Rackham, son of the fourth Earl of Windsor. That's right. Hip, hip, go, the well, let's get some fun. Everything it was advertised to be a pure joy to fly. It was a crisp, sunny day, and everything would have been perfect had I only been alone. Woohoo! Hey, Here we are. It's a great day for a picnic, don't you think? Right, you see that plane up ahead? You need to catch up with it! Yeah, yeah! So listen, I know this little French place can pick up a couple of girls. What are you talking about? Girls! This is a test flight! You need to follow the route that plane is setting for you! Okay, you're the boss, apparently. Well, there we are.
Yeah, I'm going, I'm going. Just the poor bastard is, you know, testing me around. To what? All right, keep this distance. You need to keep up with him. Get closer to him. or something? Apparently slow for now. Ah, we're still following him. Right. Hey, what's this? Maybe we have to go to that village over there, but I'm really not sure at all. Oh, but the graphics are amazing. Stay on his tail. Oh, I'm starting to love that. Yeah, I'm chasing, god damn it. Getting this, come on. Good flying. Now, some of them want exactly by the book, so toss the damn book and live a 
little. Where's he going now? Leave him. See those target balloons? Weapons check. Fire at will. Okay, some fun. We can do that. Oh, I don't know what happened, but yeah, something slowed me there. So we have rockets, so good. Well, I'm not sure if you had this in World War One, but hey, it's okay, I guess. How did I miss that? Come on. Yeah, looks like it. That was too close for comfort. You can say that again. Is that the engine? Giving her the gun might have thrown something off. Repair what you can from up front. Well, since if I'm, uh, you know, putting the airplane back, uh, it will slow it and... I see him. Hey, yeah. Speakers. It will turn off the engine. I think.
Whoa, I'm better with the airplane than with the tank. Where do you think he's going? That way. And we're going after him. What are you doing? We should turn back. Ah, to hell with base. accidentally discovered where Germans were keeping their munitions for half the Western Front. And Wilson's pictures would help HQ launch a major assault. There was just one problem. I'm not sure about this. Oh, come on. We did a great thing. We'll get medals for this. We weren't even supposed to be there. When the commander sees these pictures, he won't care. We did a great thing. We can do it again. I'll make you a deal. If we pile up on this, then you need to promise me that you'll get me back in one piece. Sure thing. Promise. I need your word. Okay, I promise. Stay here. And don't cause any trouble. You know, I did like the guy. But he was kind of naive. Sir, you might want to take a look at these. Saints alive, your man must be one, one hell of a path. Before we knew it, we were back in the air. Our mission? To clear the way for the bombers so they could blow that fortress all to hell. First, we'd have to down the barrage blimps. Jesus, imagine being a lookout on a blimp. Bad luck, Fritz. Next, we'd have to deal with their anti-aircraft trucks. The assault was already in full swing when we got there. We'd have to deal with all those defenses, then escort our bombers to their target when they arrived. Tall order. But victory here could change the course of the whole damn war, they said. Safe to say, this oh. is less than three.
I'm getting used to this. We made it. Really great job.
Well, that was hell of a ride. The bird was busted. She buried her nose in no man's land a half mile due west of where I went down. Wilson, the poor sap, didn't make it out. But that was his bad luck. I had more pressing problems. to business. And again I see shit. Come on, come to me, <laughs> that's my old strategy. I'm just gonna say I've had plenty of practice moving quietly. Out the back of bars, bedroom windows, you don't need the details. Anyway, once those Germans were gone, I put my skills to work, heading west towards the British front, quiet as an alley cat. Between me and the British front were German trenches and German guns. Oh, and half the population of Berlin, all spoiling for a fight. Are they coming here? I don't know. I don't have binoculars, so I can't watch where they are.
Yeah, this will be better. Lucky day. The Brits must have been sitting down for tea and crumpets instead of shelling the Germans. Still, I had to get through to our side of the line before those guns started up again. No, oh, he's jumping. It was supposed to be a silencer. Okay, so far we are alive, which is the most important thing.
Those trenches were packed full of the Kaiser's finest, but hopefully, most of them would be looking for trouble coming the other way. Hopefully. I'm not sure, but I, I wonder, I'm curious if this will blow up, if he touches it. Wow, it does, awesome. Ah. 
tarde. A dozen German machine guns at my back kind of encouraged me to keep my head down. No Man's Land was a maze of barbed wire, dead bodies, and debris. But I held my course. Well, guys, what I'm going to do is just to cut the video here in the middle of action, but it's just, um, yeah, too long already. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy it. I so far. I'm having some some fun, I mean a lot of fun with the game, so yeah, it's amazing. It motivates me to play the multiplayer as well. Well, that came out.